my god, hey! Welcome back to my Stagey YouTube channel. If you are seeing my face for the first time, my name is Mickey Joe, and I am obsessed with all things theatre. Normally when I meet you I'm in my office talking about shows, listening to cast recordings, reviewing things. Today I am in my kitchen because it is the time of year where I attempt to make a pie. And not just any pie. I am going to be making a pie from the Waitress Pie Book, Sugar Butter Flour, and I'm wearing my stagiest apron. Which now that I look at it is incredibly provocative, so I apologise or you're welcome depending on your personal perspective. We have previously made some of the pies from this book with generally good results. I've made the Big Guy Strawberry Pie, I've made the I Can't Have an Affair Because It's Wrong and I Don't Want Earl to Kill Me Marble Chocolate Cheesecake Pie. And uh, last year we made the Betrayed by My Eggs pie and it nearly exploded. But I'm optimistic for this one. Today we are going to be making the My Husband's a Jerk Chicken Pot Pie. I kind of remember how to bake in between last year's pie and this year's pie. I haven't done a huge amount of baking and I have learned from the last video we made. Teaspoon, tablespoon. Difference. So, Let's make a pie. Whisk together the flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt in a large bowl. Already forgotten all of the ingredients I just said. So our recipe calls for unbleached all-purpose flour. This Tesco bag says plain. I'm hoping that's the same thing. I can't do it nearly as artistically as she does it. To be fair, she just wastes flour. She just blows it forwards over her workstation. You don't see it as an audience, but on the other side of that is a very messy kitchen. Have I already made a mess? Half a teaspoon baking powder. What does baking powder do? Like, how does baking powder work? Fascinated by the science of baking. Ah. Okay, that is my four tablespoons of butter. I need to cut it into cubes. Okay, as I began this, I was making very neat cubes. Increasingly, it's becoming... I mean, that's a prism. Oh, this butter has separation anxiety. We have some buttery cubes of varying different sizes and shapes, only some of which are cubes. Whisking! I haven't whisked yet. I just realised at this exact point in the recipe, we literally are only using sugar, butter, and flour. And baking powder. But, like, that doesn't scan in the song. Sugar, butter, flour, baking powder. Am I meant to have added salt to this? I am! Sugar, butter, flour, baking powder, salt! Here we go, here we go. Not too fast, not too fast, not too fast, not too fast, not too fast. Ah, there we go. Look at that, I could be on Breaking Bad. Scatter the butter and shortening over the flour mixture and work it in with a pastry blender. See, for no good reason, Americans have this thing called shortening, which a hasty Google search has indicated to me is butter. So where it says butter and shortening, I'm using butter and butter. I continue not to have a pastry blender. So we continue to have my good friend, the fork. This video is going to be great for when we want to find out why I lost a finger. Okay, that just wants to be sort of yeeted into the mixture. I need my fork. But hey, I've been going to the gym a lot more since the last time I attempted to make a pie using only a fork. So maybe this will be easier, or maybe I will still regret all of the choices that have led me to this moment in life. So much butter, hello, much butter, it's uh, 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 oh, much butter. I am so much butter. I have so much butter. <laughs> I feel like I'm nursing this at this point. I feel like this butter has become my child. My son, I have nothing I can give, but the chance that you may live. I pray you'll be a pie. Whisk together the egg vinegar and one tablespoon of the water in a small bowl. I was watching the show. Not that there are real eggs in the show, but she does it one-handed, like cracking an egg and putting it in the thing. I can't do that. Okay, woohoo! Egg. Oh, it's a squeezy bottle. Woohoo! Oh, vinegar everywhere. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, that brought me more fun than it was meant to. Oh, now it smells like a chip shop. One to one and a half tablespoons ice cold water. <gasps> is there water in the gluggle? You are welcome for what I'm about to show you. This is a gluggle. It is a jug shaped like a fish. Just you wait. Hold on. Isn't that satisfying? I mean, come on. This whisk is a little large for this mixture. Pour over the flour mixture. Stir with a fork to form large clumps that pull in all the dry ingredients. It says stir with a fork. See, I'm not crazy. This is the part where it starts to look like cookie dough. I have to restrain myself. This is a large clump. Free him. Get off, get off, get off, get off. You're about to be a pie. Turn out onto a piece of plastic wrap. Gather and form into a ball and then flatten into a disc about three quarters of an inch thick. Wrap well and refrigerate for at least 30 minutes. As a species, we've made a lot of technological innovation. You know, we put cars in space for reasons I still don't understand. I need us to come up with a better way of getting cling film 
out of the cardboard tube. We've not fully optimized that process. Whoever it is that's decided that that's done and that just works now, I'd like to have words. For the filling, heat one tablespoon of the oil in a large pot over medium high heat. Stir in the sweet potatoes, onion, bell pepper, and salt. Cook, stirring occasionally for eight minutes or until tender. At some point, I have to question why I keep wearing a bandana to bake these, because I've done it every time. And I don't have that much hair, and my hair is hair sprayed up regardless. I feel like I just look like someone out of Cobra Kai at this point, like I'm gonna be in the Karate Kid. They are making a Karate Kid musical, it's in development. I'm ready, clearly, in this, in this strange combination of outfits. Is this tender yet? I don't know if it's tender, it's loud. Stir in one teaspoon of the jerk seasoning. Oh wow, that is brown. And transfer to a large bowl. I mean, I'm ready to eat this. This looks delicious. This looks wholesome. It's not, it's not a pie, do we? Are we obliged to keep going? Okay, let's keep going. Heat the remaining one and a half teaspoons of oil in the same pot. Toss the chicken with one teaspoon of the jerk seasoning and arrange in a single layer in the pot. Cook for three minutes on each side or until lightly browned, turning with tongs. Transfer to a plate, set aside. Reduce the heat to medium-low and melt the butter in the pot. Look at him sliding around. Whee! Look at this butter go. I'm, this is a lot of fun. Sprinkle the flour over the butter and cook, whisking continuously for two minutes. Whisk in the stock and cook for four minutes or until slightly thickened. Come on, gravy. Let's get thickening. Whisk in the cream and the remaining one teaspoon jerk seasoning paste. Oh, did you think that was a half teaspoon? Oh God. So it's, it's, it's quite a bit more. I have I learned, learned from, from the last video, video we made. made. Teaspoon, tablespoon. tablespoon. And you know, it had been going so, so well today. It turns out I have been adding a tablespoon of jerk seasoning paste where the recipe calls for a teaspoon multiple different times. So it's gonna be flavorful. I hope I like jerk seasoning. We're going to find out. Cut the chicken into bite-sized pieces and add to the pot along with any accumulated juices. Stir in the reserved vegetables, peas, and rice. <laughs> oh, my peas, my peas. Excuse me, give peas a chance. Look at this. I have never made anything like this before. It kind of looks like a, like a very pale paella. I'd say it looks like a white person paella, but it is full of just, just so much jerk seasoning paste. I can't go back now, we're leaning into it. It's gonna be flavorful. We'll just rename it. My husband's a really massive jerk. Chicken pot pie. Cook until gently bubbling and heated through. Season with salt and pepper. Stir in the parsley. Transfer to the prepared pie plate. I've just turned uh, two pages over and started panicking because it told me to stir the beef stock in slowly. I was like, I don't have beef stock. Oh God, my pie looks nothing like that. It's a different pie. I've turned too many pages. We're doing fine. Roll out the dough to a 10 inch round on a lightly floured surface. Here we go. Let me live my best waitress dreams. That's such a mess! Why does she do that? She's a professional baker! I'm sure they used to do this on Art Attack. Am I supposed to be seeing something here? Does it say something about me psychologically if I can see a cat in this or something? Since last time you saw me make a pie, I have invested in an actual rolling pin. Does it have the charm of a flowered red wine bottle? Not as much. Does it work better? Begrudgingly, yes. Cover the filling with the dough and crimp the edge. If you have any pastry scraps, you can cut out shapes to decorate the crust. I've done a slightly dubious crimping job, but it will it will serve its purpose. Do you remember in Sleeping Beauty when they were making the pie and she lays the thing over the top? That was always such a satisfying scene. That's what this reminds me of, this little spongy pillow of food right here. Look at that. Fascinating creation. I may be here for some time. Work smarter, not harder, people. There we go. Yes, that's it. Okay, so they've got this little heart thing. Please don't talk to me while I'm performing open heart surgery. We broadly have a broken heart. Make an egg wash by whisking together the egg and cream in a small bowl. Gently brush the dough with egg wash and sprinkle with coarse salt and cracked pepper. Cut four one inch slits in the pastry to vent the steam. I think that's a pie. I think that's ready to go into the oven. 45 minutes? I'm hungry now. Off you go, little pie. Be good. Bake for about 45 minutes or until the crust is golden brown and the filling is bubbling. Nervous. Now, as we've done previously when we've made these videos, very important to nurture your pie during this developmental phase with music. Previously, we've used the ukulele, the chaos xylophone. Today's instrument of choice is the gluggle. It's back, you know, it's functional and it's sonorous. It is going to join me in a heartwarming waitress-based duet. So pure, so electric. So sure, so connected to those little believers in sound.
May we all be so lucky. Nice, excellent. Ex no, excellent work. That was good. Here it is. Moment of truth. We are taking the pie out of the oven. Will it be a catastrophe? Has it exploded anywhere? I, I'm, I'm hoping not. We're going to find out together. Here she is, boys. Here she is, world. I mean, it's bubbling. The top is golden brown. The crust looks crusty. There you go. Not a bad likeness. She's a little bit the ugly stepsister to the one in the drawing, but that's okay. Broadly speaking, it's a pie-shaped pie. Here we go. Mmm. 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 Oh my gosh, so flavoursome. Delicious, I will say. <coughs> oh, it hits you. <coughs> She's spicy. But I will say that the my husband's a jerk chicken pot pie is a hit. The pastry is maybe my favourite pastry that I've ever made. The flavouring is so delicious, it's spicy, but really nice. I will take this as a win. Yay for pie. We love pie. Happy pie day to you all. I'm gonna eat some pie now. Mmm. Thank you for watching. If you did, subscribe. Like videos. Tell your friends. Subscribe to my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Theatre. Stay safe. Have a stagey day. Make pie. Eat pie. Leave me alone. I'm eating my pie. <laughs> For ten more seconds, I'm Mickey Joe Theatre. Oh my god, hey. Thanks for watching. Have a stagey day. Subscribe! <laughs>